Vegas Christian Retreat, and the fundraiser event today is called Save the Camp. And so Cool 96.9 is out here along with a ton of other people. Everybody out here just to support the cause, and there's literally everywhere you can think of that you can actually give a donation. We even have a donation bucket here. Everything goes back into Hargis to save this camp. And there's there's renovations everywhere. It's just amazing. was kind of hard to say we we didn't really have time especially around um, my college schedule so honestly every weekend every every free time was pretty much there was no hanging out with friends or anything the past couple weeks it was just all right who's coming what are we gonna have going on getting um, stuff in uh, we made an Amazon list uh, wish list for people that kind of help us things like that we still need a lot of that as well um, just kind of get the stuff in what we needed what we didn't need right away and then just organizing it. So a lot, a lot of the stuff was um, just kind of like phone calls coming in. So we were writing it down, keeping track of it, bringing in food for it, um, and hoping for the weather. That was that was a lot of a lot of praying went into this, getting, trying to get it right. Camp Hargis is a, a youth Christian camp. Um, I came here several times when I was a kid, and it was just time to come out and spend like a week out here with a bunch of your friends around your age, um, enjoying the lake, um, kayaking, swimming, bonfires at night, um, trips out to the woods for bonfires, which was fun. But you would spend time during the day connecting with your people that you knew and um, making new friends. And at the end of the day, after we ate dinner, uh, we did have a moment of prayer and we would connect uh, back to your roots of faith and things like that. So it was, a, it was a really good place for kids who weren't comfortable at first with their faith um, to grow into it and then kind of brought a lot out of people at the end of the week. Um, towards the end of it, we'd have um, more and more connections and people would connect better. You could kind of see people change. And that's what I loved about it was coming out here and enjoying it with my friends. And it really brought us all together towards the end of it. And I just want other uh, younger kids to be able to experience the same thing. There's a couple buildings with some roofing that we're trying to get fixed, um, mainly one building in particular. And then we also, when the camp was shut down, a lot of the beds were taken out. We still need about 300 uh, mattresses to put in all the houses. Um, but if we could at least get 60 of those in by June, that's when we're hoping to host the first uh, youth camp between first and sixth graders. Um, and we're also trying to get some kayaks out here and maybe um, some new fishing poles. I mean, we can supply those as well, but the kayaks and the beds and the roofing is mainly the biggest things we need right now. Just kind of get the, at least the first camp up and running. And we also, um, anything else we uh, might need is also on an Amazon wish list. You can find on the um, Hargis Facebook page or you can go to my personal Facebook page, Xander Eccles, and there's a page for the Foundation of Hargis or the Safe Camp Hargis. Anything that could be useful for that um, is on there. So that'd be fantastic to have. fundraiser at Hargis Christian Camp. Uh, started out as a uh, mini sports camp and really turned more into probably a car show before it was over with. Uh, bake sale, um, there's going to be a silent auction so it kind of it morphed into some different things over the over the last couple of months but it's our first uh, first fundraiser here at the camp. Uh, Mike Eccles and Xander uh, their family uh, really helped put this together. I mean they were they spearheaded the whole thing so just trying to get eyes on the camp so more people see it and 
uh, understand what we got to do as far as fundraising and whatnot. I'm the camp director this summer, so we're going to have summer camps going on for um, kids ages kindergarten through fifth grade, and then we have other camps that are coming out that we're coordinating rental um, on the buildings and uh, just different facilities uh, around the site, and so we're excited to have different churches reaching out and bringing youth groups and, and different groups out, so we're really excited. Well, there's not enough Christian camps out there, and I, I really believe that people um, get to know their self and get to know the Lord better out in the wilderness, uh, out in the middle of His creation. And it, I, I've seen myself and experienced uh, youth camps here where kids would just pretty much, for the most part, put away their phones for five days and, uh, and just spend time getting to know each other and getting to know the Lord. And I've seen the, the, the change in that. And this place has been a big part of um, not only the kingdom, but it's been a big part of Chelsea, a big part of our community since the 60s. And um, it's just a place that we felt like uh, God wasn't done done with as far as using. And uh, so, you know, to, to change lives, I mean, that's the main focus. And our main focus are, is kids, but we do have uh, adult camps that'll be here, marriage conferences and different things like that. Uh, so we just want to use it for exactly what Jesus uh, used his three years of, of ministry that he did here. Uh, and that was to heal the brokenhearted and to, uh, set the captive free and so we want to it's kind of like Luke 4 18 says I mean that's we want it to be a place that people uh, when they drive in through the gate up top if they didn't have hope they leave with hope and if they didn't come in knowing Jesus they leave knowing Jesus and if they came in knowing Jesus they leave knowing him better we just want um, we really want to unite the community and so today's the first day we've seen that and it is just amazing we want more of that we want people to hear about Jesus. That's our number one goal more than anything. And so we, we open the doors and, and want events to take place out here that unite this community and just spread the word of Jesus. Well, easy to get in touch with us. You can either go to our website, www.harvestchristiancamp.org. Uh, you can also donate there. Uh, and then my number is 205-500-7239. You can get in touch with me anytime that way. A few things we have coming up, though, we have our men's night, which is a community-wide uh, event that we do here on the first Tuesday of every month, just the first Tuesday, right here where we're standing at. We have fire pits out here. Uh, we just kind of grill and hang out, and pretty much it's been a success for the first two times that we've had it. We had 75 men the first night, uh, representing eight different churches, so it was uh, really good in connecting the community. Uh, and then we also have a Easter egg hunt, a community Easter egg hunt that's coming up. Uh, on April 9th here for, for anybody. So we'll have it separated out between the little ones and the older kids and whatnot. And we'll be sharing the gospel that day as well. And um, summer camp starts on June the 6th.